so welcome to another beer review with me, Pierre, the Master of Hobbits. Today's beer is going to be a Belgian beer. I haven't had a Belgian beer in a lot, very long time. At least an authentic Belgian beer. When saying authentic, I mean a Belgian beer brewed in Belgium, not a, just a Belgian style beer. But this is, and I really felt like a Belgian beer today. So today's beer is going to be the Destruise Rouge de Jeanne. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's by the Destruise Brewers, or Brothers, in uh, Belgium. I haven't had a lot of their beers. I've had their uh, Stuizes Cheeses, I think, or something like that. I'm not sure on that name because it's difficult to pronounce. Reserva, Cheeses Reserva, and their Black Albert, and both are exceptional. Uh, but both of them has really just exploded out of the bottle, which was like, the, the <laughs> Black Albert just kept oozing up. But, yeah, this is the beer for today. It's a Belgian ale brewed with spices, among other, uh, yeah, spices and candied sugar. And it's on 7% alcohol by volume in a 33 centiliter bottle. And uh, yeah, Rouge de Jeanne means red haired Jeanne, which I guess sort of translates into Jane or Jean, I'm not sure. Uh, and it's specially brewed for a witchcraft festival in Newport in Belgium this year. Uh, I got some info for, and by the way, you. This label is fucking cool. Like, I guess that's Hoste Shane, or Jane Pane, that's her name. Really cool label, like, which on there. I think it's really cool, at least. But let's um, read it, let me read it out the info here I got from the website. Um, our brewmaster, Sip, uh, <laughs> what? Our brewmaster was born and raised in Newport, Belgium. In the early days, around 1600, a lot of women were accused of witchcraft and got burned alive. The city council of Newport asked Urbane, one of the brewers, to develop a session. Oh, uh, the the brewer who was brewed, the head brewer who was brewed in New Newport, uh, asked Urbane to develop a session beer for the two yearly evocation of a new port witch called Shane Pane. Shane was ugly as can be and had red copper colored hair. Elements enough for a bane to create a rather exciting nail. The result of knowledge and ability... Okay, yeah, this is info from the bottle I had to translate because it's in, in what, Dutch? And uh, it says here, the result of the knowledge of the knowledge and ability enjoy magic... Yeah, in, the result of knowledge and ability enjoy magic liquid wisdom tasteful tribute to a sinister legend. Let's get this Belgian name cracked up. Cracked up. Cracked open. <laughs> What's with my English day? I hope it doesn't explode on me. It didn't. First, I will just tweet to be a nut to jump out of the bottle. Mmm, the cap smells nice. Just a plain white cap. Well, let's get it poured into this Grimbergen. Grimbergen. What is that? A goblet? And it's bottle conditioned. And that's always nice. That's a pretty lovely color there. Uh, the color is like a like a murky brown with reddish reddish notes. It's mostly when you you get light through it, you see some reddish notes, maybe a slight among them amber, and then you can see some small floaties as well. Uh, yeah, looks nice, looks really nice. And the head, it's a two finger frothy, uh, like off white beige head, looks quite nice. But let's check out the aroma on the. Rouge de Chanel, or Red Haired Chanel, as it's also called. Okay, I immediately smell like a multi caramely aroma. And the spices as well. The spices doesn't shine through as much. Candied sugar. Maybe just a touch of alcohol. Something spice, uh, spiced. And, but I actually get a small hoppy aroma as well. Not much. A little bit of like Bel Belgian funk, along with some dark fruit. Yeah. But you can definitely smell the candied sugar as well. It actually smells really nice. But uh, let's give it a, a taste. The body on it is medium. It's smooth, which is nice. It's also just slightly dry. Um, initial flavor I get is the like a caramel malty base along with the candied sugar and just a hint of dark fruit. It's actually not that much. Mm. A, a 
bit of alcoholic burn. Yeah, that, that dark fruit is not really there. And it's actually not that spicy. So it was more spicy than the aroma. Uh, the aroma is way more spicy than the taste. It has also got a like a slightly sour note. But not as much as like a in like a, a lambic, a goose, or something like that, or just a Belgian sour, but just a slight sour tart. Uh, flavor as well, maybe like a tart apple flavor. It's got that, yeah, that bit of funkiness as well. It's not much, and that typical type of Belgian yeast flavor. It doesn't really impress me as much as the cheese's reserva and Black Albert did. <clears throat> By the way, it's also quite well carbonated. <clears throat> but um, other than that, it's really nice tasting, and the alcohol is just a slight burn in like the aftertaste. And it's not much at all. It's really um, quite mellow, the alcohol taste. But yeah, it's a pretty good Belgian ale, but not the best the street has got to offer. Um, rating wise, this is getting a 75. Um, I think it's a good, pretty good Belgian ale. Uh, I would rather pick this than a Grimbergen beer, uh, the Berger, at least a Grimbergen blunt, but. Yeah, it's a solid, good, yeah, pretty good actually, uh, Belgian ale. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get this really in America. Maybe you can, because I know a lot of the Swiss is imported uh, in America or ex exported to America. But uh, yeah, it's a solid Belgian ale, a good Belgian ale. So 75 for the Destruise Rouge de Chanel. Uh, it's not bad, this stuff. That's it for this beer, you guys. Let me know what you think of it. Maybe you have loved this beer and you, or maybe you even hate it. Maybe you've had it, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have it. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. As always, comment, subscribe, thumbs up, and all that stuff. And I'm gonna say cheers, guys, and I'll see you in another beer review.